tired of messy green screens ruining your videos or causing you to do additional editing for every single video you make? Thankfully, I found a much better way that avoids all that editing, increases the quality of your work, and adds the flexibility to use the same clips in either horizontal or vertical video formats. With both blue and green in my model, traditional color keying wasn't an option. It made parts of my model transparent and color bleeding left unprofessional edges, despite adjusting the sliders and trying additional keying methods. As a nerdy fox, I found a way to record with transparency since VTube Studio sends it to OBS. And this took a while due to outdated online posts saying it was broken since a few OBS versions ago. Thankfully, the method itself is super easy and only takes five minutes for you to learn. And stick around to the end for bonus content that makes it even easier along with some powerful ways that you can use it. First, make sure you have OBS installed and if not, pause the video now and use the links in the description. If you're just here for those OBS settings, skip installing Spout 2 as it's VTuber only. And when those steps are done, we'll be starting from a fresh install. If things don't work out by the end, reset your settings to default and try again as there could be a conflict with other settings. In OBS, you can get the settings by going to File and then Settings, or you can find the button in the very bottom right-hand corner of a default layout. This may take a moment to load, so give it some time. But once loaded, let's do the easy one first and start with Advanced on the bottom of the left-hand side menu. There's three settings to change here. First, change color format to BGRA, color space to sRGB, and finally, color range to full. The next one's a bit more complex, and feel free to hit pause or rewind in the video if you need to see it again. Back to the left side menu, click on Output, and at the top, change it to Advanced, which will open up lots more options below. Next up, change the type to be Custom Output FFmpeg. Now, we change the container format to Apple's MOV. And the final step won't make sense, but trust me here. Down a bit further, change video encoder to PNG. Yes, I know it's typically an image format, but I did ask you to trust me here. This step is the one that makes it all work. Now, we hit OK and save our changes. Adding the Spout2 source is fast and easy. Click the plus button, then the Spout2 capture. And we just need to change the Spout Senders to be VTube Studio and Composite Mode to be Default. And as soon as you do this, your single color background will disappear. If you're using a background image or scene in VTube Studio, you need to swap that for a single color and choose the Transparency option for this to work. To check to see if it worked, look at your video's thumbnail. If you see a black box, something went wrong. You can also right click the file, choose properties, go to the details tab, and at the very bottom, look for attributes and there should be an A for alpha. Or just test the file on your video editor and hope for the best. I don't recommend having the same OBS settings for both your streaming and recording, especially if you're wanting to record transparency. There's a couple ways to accomplish this, but the one that I recommend is just making a minor tweak to your existing installation. I can only show you how to do this in Windows, so sorry for Mac and Linux users, you're kind of on your own. But for those Windows users, hit Start, type OBS, and on the right-hand side, you should have an Open File Location option. If not, right-click on OBS and choose that same option. This will open up an Explore window where the original shortcut lives. Click on it, press Control C and then Control V to copy and paste a duplicate. Or you can right click copy and right click paste if, you know, if you're a caveman. <laughs> but on the copy, be sure to rename it to something that's going to stand out. But then right click and choose properties on it. And in target, go all the way to the end and add a dash P or a dash dash portable and then hit OK. Now, whenever you open this new link, it'll use different settings than your streaming copy. And be sure to tell the setup wizard that's about to start that you want to optimize it for recording. The way I've been using it is to record my model 
dead center, nothing else in the OBS scene, because this way I get both of my tails and ears in, and while editing I can easily move myself to the right or to the left, zoom in or zoom out as needed for what I'm trying to accomplish. This also lets me more easily do horizontal or vertical content using the exact same clips because of how flexible this recording method is. If you found this useful, please drop a like, comment on how you plan to use it, and subscribe for more content just like this. And while you're at it, stab that bell to show it you're serious about getting updates on my future videos.